Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web, and welcome to our 2023 racing helmet shootout. What we've done is taken three of the latest racing helmets on the market today. These were all released in the last 12 months and handed them over to our team test pilot. This is part of our test ride series where we get the gear out of the studio, we get it on the track, we get it on the street, and give you that real world in the saddle feedback. So, the competitors today are the Nex XR3R, the HJC RFO1, and, and hailing from Japan, the Shoei X15. Again, these are all new releases. This is not a comprehensive buying guide. There are other very uh, competent racing helmets on the market today that will compete against these. And we're gonna make a follow-up video where we take the winner of this shootout and compare it to the other Mac Daddies on the scene at the moment. But what we've taken is these three, we've taken them out to the track, we're gonna give you a winner, we're gonna give you the pros and cons and that real world feedback here in a minute. Now remember, you can support us here at speedaddicts.com by simply shopping with us. Don't give your money to those corporate monoliths, spend it with a family owned company here. There's a link in the description below that will take you over to each one of the helmets we're gonna talk about in the video today. And remember, we have no cost return, so if you have any issues with fit, just said it's not for you. As long as you live in the lower 48 states, you're gonna be able to return that for free and get whatever you need to get, be it a refund or just a different size. All right, enough with my shameless plugs. Let's hit the track with our team test pilot. Hey, Speed Addicts family. Welcome to the 2023 Speed Addicts Racing Helmet Shootout. On the left, we have Shoei's X15. In the center, we have Nex X3R3. And on the right, we have HJC's RPHA 1N Helmet. Each of these three helmets are the top of the range helmet from the manufacturer. They're designed for all of you track day riders and racers out there who want to go fast. Now we've reviewed each of these helmets individually on the Speed Addicts TV YouTube channel. Now it's time to compare and contrast the differences live from the racetrack. Who's ready to ride? Well folks, welcome to the 2023 Speed Addicts Racing Helmet Shootout. You know the contenders coming in in third place is next out of Portugal. Now, to be fair, this helmet, we wore a size medium next. We probably should have got a size small because the fit is a little bit big compared to the other brands. Still, the, the helmet actually fit pretty good. It, it was decently comfortable. And all the touch points of the interior were nice. Definitely a comfortable helmet. But at the same time, the shape of it is just, it's so big dimensionally that it's not very aerodynamic whatsoever. Ventilation, ventilation was surprisingly good. I didn't expect the ventilation to be as good as it was on that helmet. The ventilation was actually better than the HJC, if you can even believe that. But just how, how un-aerodynamically efficient it is and the viewport could have been a little bit taller. The visor's a little bit short. Taller visor, again, you're riding at the racetrack so you need to be able to see well ahead of you on the racing surface. So that was another gripe. Fit and finish. Fit and finish isn't, it's not commensurate of a helmet in that category. And that's where the next helmet places third and final position. Yes, it's light. Yes, it has good features for the price, but the shape of it's funky. It is very noisy. It's a very noisy helmet. Yeah, it blows air well, but you can't get over the odd shape, how noisy it is. And it just doesn't feel quite as premium as the HJC or the Shoei. Now in second place is the HJC. Now this helmet, we like its shape. It cuts the air very well. It's an aerodynamically effective helmet at the racing track. But ventilation wasn't as good as we thought it should be. That helmet didn't flow. It, it, it moved air, but not as much as the showy and not even as much as the, the, some got to the trash there, as the next, next, helmet. So that's the strike against that. It also had a lot of pressure points. We wore a size medium, which we typically wear in HJC. It is a snug medium. 
but to be fair that's kind of how hkc helmets run and it felt it fit our head well but there was a lot of pressure on the cheeks in the cheek pad area and overall the helmet just it didn't distribute the, the padding force as well as the necks or the showing now the peripheral vision on that helmet with that visor was nice but again same problem as the necks the visor's a little bit short, could be taller. The interior is also not quite as modular and it's not as customizable. With the show, you can customize basically everything inside the helmet. And if you're the kind of person who wants just like perfect, if you want your helmet to fit like your suit on your night out on the town, well, there's no comparison. Which leads us to first place. First place goes to Joey's X15. Wow! I didn't think that this update would be that significant, but this helmet flows a lot more air than the outgoing X14. A lot more. It flows the most amount of air in this shootout. It is easily the most comfortable and most quiet. And the viewport is excellent. Not only does it have good peripheral vision, but the visor is nice and tall. Remember how we said the other visors could be taller? This visor is nice and tall. You can really see way far, far out ahead. The visor isn't blocking your view. It's really good. Then of course, the fit and finish on that helmet on this X15 is just second to none. I mean, from the paint to the way the helmet is put together the interior the vents like the helmet may cost closer over the thousand dollars in graphics but you get what you pay for and that's a really nice helmet yeah the x 15s maybe a little bit heavier than the competition but you're not going to notice it because number one the fit's so excellent and it's so aerodynamically effective that you're not going to have wind buffeting it just cuts through the air so the extra weight is really a moot point for the X-15. It's a really nice helmet. Well, folks, that wraps up the 2023 Speed Addicts Racing Helmet Shootout. Three great contenders, Nex out of Portugal, HJC out of Korea, and Shoei out of Japan. But there is one clear winner. Congratulations to Shoei. And it's X15 literally blowing the doors off the competition for a helmet that is more expensive but not that much more expensive especially compared to the HJC. As always make sure to subscribe to the Speed Addicts YouTube channel and sound off in the comment section what do you think of these three helmets? Do you have them? Do you ride on the street? Do you ride them on the track? Sound off because this shootout is based fully on track use. If you're a street rider or a recreational commuter, the result might be different. But for all our performance at the track on a bike like BMW's F1000RR, there can only be one. We'll see you next time, folks.